Oh, hi friends. My friend and I were throwing this beach ball, but he couldn't catch it, so he didn't want to play anymore. Wee! <gasps> hi, Marty. Hiya, friends. Whew, it's so hot outside. Hey, Shine. That's why I'm playing inside. I wish my friend could play too, but he can't catch the ball. He needs someone to help him. Hey, that makes me think of a question. Who helps me live like Jesus? Good question. Let's go on a Bible adventure to find out. That's a terrific idea. Friends, shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! Now, pretend to put on your adventure bags. I'm all set. Shine, what picture passes will help us find the answer? Let's take a look. Hmm. Friends, you and I will be picture pest guessers together. Here's your first clue. You wear these to cover your eyes when it's super sunny outside. Hmm. Friends, which picture pass is it? You got it! It's the sunglasses. Catch it in your adventure bag. You definitely need sunglasses outside today. I've got my favorite pair right here. They were a gift from Brit the Bible Gal. Good thinking, Marty. All right, Shine, what's the next clue? These grow on plants and are sweet to eat. Hmm. Which picture pass is it? You're right! It's the fruit! Catch it in your adventure bag! Okay, time for the last clue. This toy is round and you can play catch with it. Hmm. Friends, what do you think it is? <laughs> Great job! It's the beach ball! Catch it in your adventure bag. Friends, count with me. One, two, three. Yep, they're all here. Now, let's zip our adventure bags together. Now it's, it's time, time to fly! fly. Whoa! Whoa! Ow, ow. I can't see anything, Shine. It's too sunny. What about your sunglasses, Marty? Oh yeah, great idea. Friends, pretend to put on your sunglasses with me. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> wow, we that's much better. I'll say. Okay, Shine, how can sunglasses, fruit, and a beach ball help us answer the question, who helps me live like Jesus? Let's look in the Bible. It's a great place to start. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust it's right and true. God's wonderful gift. This story is from the book of Acts in the Bible. It's all about something special God gives each of us when we choose to follow Jesus. Oh, I can't wait to find out what it is. Friends, let's watch together. Jews from all over the world were in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. Jesus' followers were there too. They gathered together, waiting for the gift Jesus had promised them. In the middle of the festival, God's gift arrived. It began with a sound, a sound like a howling wind that filled the house where they were waiting. Next, something that looked like fire settled on each one of them. Then, God's Holy Spirit filled everyone in the room, and He gave them power to speak different languages. Jews from other parts of the world heard them and were amazed. These people are speaking our languages, they said, and proclaiming the wonderful things God has done. This is God's gift, Peter explained. It was promised long ago. It comes to us through Jesus, the Messiah. 
You crucified him, but God brought him back to life. What should we do? The people asked sadly. Turn away from evil, said Peter. Believe in Jesus Christ. He will forgive your sins and give you his Holy Spirit. On that day, 3,000 people were baptized. They were just the first of many people who had come to trust in Jesus as their Savior. What a great gift! God gave His people the Holy Spirit so they can help others like Jesus did. When we choose to follow Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to live in us too. <gasps> Sizzling sea snakes? I think that's the answer to the question. All right, so who helps you live like Jesus? God's Holy Spirit helps me live like Jesus. God's Holy Spirit helps me live like Jesus. That's great, Marty. <laughs> I wonder if Britt the Bible gal knows anything more about the Holy Spirit. Go ask her. I'll see you later, Marty. Bye, Shine. Come on, friends. Hi, Britt. Hi, Marty. Hi, friends. You look like you're on a Bible adventure. We sure are. And we just found the answer to the question, who helps me live like Jesus? Oh, and what's the answer? Friends, say it with me. God's Holy Spirit helps me live like Jesus. That's so true. But you know, I'm not sure how the Holy Spirit does that. I bet a picture pass might help. Good idea. Let's have a look. Friends, you wear these to cover your eyes when it's super sunny outside. Way to go! It's the sunglasses! Britt, those sunglasses you gave me were a super cool gift. They really helped me today. Friends help each other. That's why God gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our friend. He teaches you and helps you live like Jesus. That's what it says in my favorite book, the Bible. The Holy Spirit is a super cool gift. Britt, do you know any Bible verses about our friend, the Holy Spirit? You know I do. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Listen to what Jesus says in the Bible. John 14, 26. The friend is the Holy Spirit. He will teach you all things. Friends, say the verse with me. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. The friend is. The friend is. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. He will teach you all things. He will teach you all things. Great job. <laughs> now say the whole verse with us. John. John. 1426. The friend is the Holy Spirit. He will teach you all things. Great job. <laughs> Thanks, Britt. That verse will help me remember that the Holy Spirit is my friend who teaches me to live like Jesus. I hope you have a great Bible adventure. Bye, Marty. Bye, friends. Bye, Britt. Come on. We don't want to play catch your way, Zinnia. We want to play our way. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't play catch without a ball, can you? A Zinnia? What? Uh, oh, Blinky. Sorry I yelled at you. Are you okay? No. My friends make me so mad sometimes. What'd they do? My Aunt Petunia got me this super cool beach ball yesterday. My friends and I were going to play catch together, but they didn't want to follow my rules. They didn't listen to me. Ugh. I'm sorry, Zinnia. I know what you're going to say next. You should share, Zinnia. You should play nicely. Well, I tried, and I followed their rules for a while, but then I just couldn't anymore. So I took my ball and left. Well, I think it's super -de duper that you tried to play nicely with your friends. Yeah? Yeah. And you know what? Shine just told me that God's Holy Spirit helps us live more like Jesus. What do you mean? Well, sometimes it's hard to be loving or patient or brave. 
But when we follow Jesus, God's Holy Spirit helps us do those things better. God's Holy Spirit can help me be nice to my friends? That's it. Would you like to pray and ask God for help? Yes. Friends, pray with me. Dear God, please help me play nicer with my friends. In Jesus' name, amen. That was so good, Xenia. Do you want to play catch with me? I like your rules. Thanks, Blinky. That would be great. Yikes, I need my sunglasses again. Friends, pretend to put on your sunglasses with me. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> now I can see where I'm walking. I'm so glad Britt helped us figure out what the first picture pass was all about. Sunglasses are a super cool gift to help my eyes see better. And the Holy Spirit is a super cool gift to help my heart see better. He shows us how to live like Jesus. The Bible verse Brit taught us is a great way to remember that. Friends, let's say it together. John 14, 26. The friend is the Holy Spirit. He will teach you all things. Hey, that whistling sounds like it's coming from Mr. Music's singing studio. Let's go see. Oh, hey there, Marty. Hi, friends! Hey, Mr. Music, we're on a Bible adventure, and we already found the answer to the question, who helps me live like Jesus? I know that one! Friends, say it with me. God's Holy Spirit helps me live like Jesus. <laughs> That's it! The Holy Spirit teaches you and helps you grow. That reminds me of a picture pass. Friends, which picture pass shows things that grow on plants and are sweet to eat? <laughs> That's it, friends! It's the fruit! Oh, watermelon, grapes, cherries, bananas. I love all kinds of fruit. What about the fruit that grows on people? Wait, can I grow a strawberry on my head? No, Marty. I'm talking about spiritual fruit, like love or joy, or being kind or patient. Things you learn from the Holy Spirit. Oh, so when you learn from the Holy Spirit, he helps you grow spiritual fruit in your life, like being brave or gentle. You're very right, Marty. You know, I just finished a new song all about our super awesome friend, the Holy Spirit. Do you want me to teach it to you? That's a great idea, Mr. Music. Friends, Clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? I'm gonna teach you about a friend like no friend you've ever had. The Holy Spirit. Friends, sing with me. You've never had a friend like him. You've never had a friend like him. He is God's super awesome gift. He is God's super awesome gift. When you choose to follow God, when you choose to follow God, this friend will help you learn a lot. This friend will help you learn a lot. You can believe it. God sent us the Holy Spirit, you can believe it. He helps us to live like Jesus. It's so cool. So cool. He's so good. So good. So cool. So cool. He's so good. He's so good. The Holy Spirit helps us grow. The Holy Spirit helps us grow. To be more kind and show God's love. To be more kind and show God's love. He teaches new things every day. He teaches new things every day. So let's all listen and obey. So let's all listen and obey. You can believe it. God sent us the Holy Spirit, you can believe it. He helps us to live like Jesus.
It's so cool. So cool. It's so good. So good. So cool. So cool. It's so good. It's so good. So cool. It's so cool. It's so good. So good. So cool. It's so cool. It's so good. It's so good. So cool. That was amazing. Good job, friends. Now, stand to your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing. Father God, I am yours. Every day I will say, Father God, I am yours. I am a child of God. Cheer me up when I am sad. Make me smile when I am mad Every day you make me glad I am a child of God Father God, I am yours Every day I will say Father God, I am yours I am a child of God Cheer me up when I am sad Make me smile when I am Child of God, you cheer me up when I am sad. You make me smile when I am mad. Every day you make me glad. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. <laughs> oh, what's that sound, friends? Wee! Oh. Hi, Marty. <laughs> oh, it's you, Shine. We've had a great Bible adventure. Do you remember the answer to the question, who helps me live like Jesus? <laughs> Absolutely. Friends, say it with me. God's Holy Spirit helps me live like Jesus. Great job. And did Britt have a Bible verse to teach you? She sure did. Friends, let's say it for shine. John 14, 26. The friend is the Holy Spirit. He will teach you all things. I'm so glad the Holy Spirit is our friend. What did you find out about the picture passes? Ooh. The sunglasses remind us that the Holy Spirit is a super cool gift that helps us live more like Jesus. Like in the Bible story we read, 
God gave his people the Holy Spirit so they could help others like Jesus did. The fruit reminds us that when you learn from the Holy Spirit, you can grow spiritual fruit like love and joy and kindness. Yum! That kind of fruit shows you live like Jesus. You can learn from the Holy Spirit in lots of ways, like when you pray, listen, or read your Bible. Hmm, but what about the beach ball? The first time you play with a beach ball, it's hard to throw it and catch it. Oh yeah, but the more I practiced, the better I got. And the more you let the Holy Spirit teach you and help you, the better you'll get at living like Jesus. I get it. Learning from the Holy Spirit is something I can do every day. Shine, I think I can be the one to help my friend learn to play with the beach ball because the Holy Spirit helps me. That's great, Marty. You can show your friend kindness and patience as he learns and gets better. Now, let's pray that our friends remember how they can live like Jesus too. Friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. Please help us learn to live more like Jesus every day. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. It's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye, friends.